Okay, so I made a typo when I did this problem earlier, and I put 16 on the right side instead of negative 64. Made a typo again. Negative 64, not 64. So the first thing we're going to want to do with things like this, where it looks a little bit more complicated like this, is try to figure out, is there a way for us to simplify one or both sides of the equation further before we start doing any solving? And I see that I have a 2v and a 2v both on the left side. So I can put those together to make 4v. That simplifies the left side. And I think that's about all we can do to simplify this before we start solving it. So in terms of solving, we are subtracting 16 from 4v. So we are going to want to add 16 to both sides. That gives us 4v is equal to negative 48. And so we have 4 times v. We're going to do the inverse of that, which is to divide by 4. And we're going to get v is equal to negative 12. All right. Better without a typo. OK. Next we have, and I forgot to write my line down the middle on that one. We have 39 is equal to negative 2v minus 3v minus 26. And so we, can, we do see that on the right we can combine the v's, which is going to give us negative 5v, because negative 2 and negative 3 make negative 5, minus 26. So we are subtracting 26 from 5v, which means we need to add 26 to both sides. On the left, that's going to give me 65. And the negative 26 plus 26 on the right is going to make 0 leaving me with negative 5v. We divide both sides by negative 5. And we get negative 13 is equal to v. All right. I'll leave that there for a moment so you can see that. I'll shorten this guy up here. On to the next, we do have 2x plus 8 minus 5x is equal to negative 28. So 2x and negative 5x will make negative 3x plus 8 is equal to negative 28. So again, what we're doing here is just simplifying each side of the equation as much as possible before we start doing any solving. I've simplified both sides as much as possible, and I'm going to go ahead and do some solving. So I see we're adding 8 to the negative 3x. We need to subtract 8 from both sides. The positive 8 minus 8 on the left will make 0, leaving negative 3x. Negative 28 minus 8 is negative 36. We're going to divide by negative 3. And we get x is equal to negative divided by negative makes a positive 12. All right, we'll do one more. We get negative 53 is equal to 8w plus 4w minus 17. And so we can see that on the right, we can combine the w's. 8w and 4w is going to make 12w minus 17. We see that we're subtracting 17 from the right side. We need to add 17 to both sides then. And we get... Da -da -da. Negative 53, it's going to be 53 minus 17. Negative 36. 
is equal to 12w because the negative 17 and positive 17 make zero. We're multiplying 12 by w. We need to divide both sides by 12, which gives us negative 3 is equal to w. All right, on to the next topic.